Sometimes as human we get mixed up. If the overseer sent you to Foxton, some of us will have problems. Why? Because we don't understand what the master does. When the master entrusts something in your care, he has a purpose and he has a reason. All he's asking you as a servant to be faithful to whatever he demands of you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastors, it's okay to say amen. I'm a pastor too. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is no room for comparison and there is absolutely no room for competition. We are all striving to serve faithfully for what God has entrusted in our care. So brethren, we may look at these brothers and say they got Nassau, New Providence. Brother Andrew, you mean you get the island. But you know what? There is no difference between the island, amen, be it in Nagua, Mekwana, and New Providence. God is still demanding one standard. If you are in, in Nagua, All you are concerned about is hearing, well, 
pastor and wash your feet? Why? Because Peter had an issue for Jesus to wash his feet. But Jesus had to show him being your Lord and Master. I stood down, I humbled myself and washed your feet. Therefore you ought to wash one another's feet. Serve one another. Be subject to one another. Don't let anything get to your head. You are but a servant of the Most High God. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you the greatest place you could ever be or the highest place you could ever be is down at the feet of Jesus. Hallelujah. Down at your feet, oh Lord, is the most high place. Hallelujah. Submission is a choice. And it comes from, it's a military term to place yourself in order under established authority. Place yourself in order under established authority. Verse 5 from the life application reads, Young men, in the same way, be submissive to those who are older. But he goes on and say, all of you, clothe yourself with humility toward one another because God opposes the proud but giveth grace to the humble. Submission and humility does not take anything away from you. Amen? You can be the national overseer. The word is telling us we want to submit one to another. It doesn't take anything away from the national overseer to submit to his pastor, Kulin Adam. Amen? Because sometimes we get mixed up. Because I am so and so, I cannot lower myself. God help us. But the word of God says if we have spiritual sense, the word is telling us to submit to one another in humility. Serve each other in lowliness of mind. Hallelujah. I can show you this. I am Pastor Branson's pastor. Stand pastor. I am Pastor Branson's pastor. He is now my overseer. When I am at church as, a, as his pastor, I cannot abuse my authority over him. When he is serving in the district, he cannot abuse his authority over me. God has placed us in different positions, but I ought to be humble unto him, submit to him in his position. And he ought to submit to me in my position. So God has a way of showing us that there is nothing to us. Although we think we are standing, God is showing us we have to learn to submit to one another. I'm serving Pastor Branson, he is serving me. We know our position, it doesn't take anything away from us. It doesn't change our character. Amen? Because we know who we are. But ultimately, our service is unto who? Hallelujah. I point that out to help us as pastors. Amen. This is a paradigm shift. And we may look at these younger brethren, but let us get it right in our hands. Amen. They are serving God, and we are serving God. He is asking us to submit to them as they 
submit to us. Man, if we stay under God's umbrella of submission, we will never run into problems. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God help us. Brethren, is still hard, but that's the way the word of God has it. Hallelujah. When we live it out, we see the beauty of what God is saying. Hallelujah. I want to leave with us as elders. Let us lead by way of example. Amen. Lead by way of example so that the laity could look on us as leaders and follow the pattern in which we live out before them. Brethren, we have to get it together. We have to get it together. Hallelujah. Clothe yourself with humility one toward another. Why? Because God opposes any leader or Christian who is proud and don't want to submit to authority. Amen? God opposes any Christian leader or Christian who refuse to submit to authority. And I'm telling you, you'll be around long enough. You will hear some things and see some things that will cause your eyes to roll. But the word of God says, God opposes. That means God ain't on your run. That's the meaning. God ain't on your run. What you doing, what you're saying, and what you're up to, God ain't that. God pushes his way away from you. But the word says, God resisted the proud, but he never grace to the humble. When we learn to submit, the grace of God will strengthen us. The grace of God will enable us. But when we have that stanchy spirit that we are born with, the filthy to submit, the word says, God opposes us. But he giveth grace. Hallelujah. He gave us grace to the humble. There is only one chief in the house. Hallelujah. He is Jesus Christ. We are all but servants of the most high God. There is one chief in the house. Whether it is Bishop Frank, whether it's myself or whether it's you, we are all but servants of the Most High God. Hallelujah. And in closing, I want to say, leaders, let us learn to respect authority. Overseers, elders, be careful not to talk about leaders among your people. Why? Because they will see that is not the spirit of God. And we want to lead by way of example. If you disrespect the national overseer or our zone district overseers, what do you expect your members to do to you? Amen? So I'm saying to us as leaders, whether we are pastors or district overseers, learn to respect authority because your members are watching your actions. And the word of God says to let us lead by way of example. 
So brethren, I leave with you. And I encourage these brothers. I thank God for the paradigm shift. Yeah, it can mess up some of our hair for a while. But the grace of God God help us as we humble ourselves. We may not understand everything, but the grace of God is going to help us and open up our eyes. But I'm saying to you, pastors, let us be submissive to our district overseas. Amen. Let us serve one another in the spirit of humility, in lowliness of mind. It does not take anything away from me as a senior pastor, you as a senior pastor. As a matter of fact, it shows strength in our spiritual character. Amen? It doesn't take, see, when you talk about the spirit of humility, it takes nothing away from you. And we need to know that. It doesn't lessen you. But it shows strength because you know your position, they know their position, and we simply submit to one another because we are serving one God, one common purpose, all for the glory of God. So brethren, let us support these district overseers as they lead us and as God guide them, let us follow the path. Let us turn north. Amen. Amen. We want paradise ship. We want to rise on this journey. Well, this journey means we can't do things the way we normally do it. Amen. Some things that become new, they will become uncomfortable because they are strange and new. But let us stay focused and keep our eyes on the master, on the sea. Amen. Amen. Come on, give the Lord another clap praise in the place for a wonderful word and charge. We are all servants. As Bishop Jeff was preaching, I was reminded of the parable that Jesus used in Matthew chapter 20, where he referenced a landowner that went out and hired servants on the third hour sixth hour, ninth hour, and he hired them for a penny, and they all agreed to work for a penny. But he went out on the eleventh hour, and he looked for more workers who were idle in the marketplace, and he said, will you come and work for me? And when it was revealed that they all got the same pay, there was some murmuring and complaining amongst the workers. But the landowner says, did you not agree to this, my friend? Am I not the landowner? Is it not my prerogative to do what I choose and how I choose to do it? If you're man enough, if you're woman enough, touch your neighbor say, you've been hired by the Lord. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Like the young people say, don't watch nothing. Just wait. They will get paid. Just wait. Ah, oh, such a boy. Just wait. And be faithful while you work. It's now my esteemed privilege to call our National Overseer, Bishop Dr. Franklin M. Ferguson, who will come to do the art of installation. We want to stand and receive him as he comes to do the sacred act for this evening. Take my life and let it be consecrated, Lord, to be the hymn. Take my life. 